Okay, this is Kat Khan, and I'm speaking with uh, Jacob. Do you pronounce it Shabot or Shabbat? Shabbat. Shabbat. Ha ha. The incorrect the way. Third way. <laughs> All right. Um, and he's been in Artist Alley here at the ALA Annual Conference in Anaheim, California. Yes. And Jacob, I just have a, a few questions for you. Um, we're going to talk about some of your books um, as we go on through here. But how did you get your start in comics? Uh, always, as a kid, I was always drawing comics. And uh, after, uh, while I was in college, I got an internship at Marvel Comics, working in the production department. And um, I got a job there shortly after graduating. And uh, worked there for a bunch of years, learning how to put together comics in the technical sense, but also still drawing comics on my own on the side the whole time. And, you know, just gradually started working on it. Um, I submitted the uh, strip of Sculpt Mighty Skullboy Army to Dark Horse's strip search uh, as part of that. And it kind of took off. Like, it won the week that it was on, and uh, then the, the month. I didn't win the yearly thing, but people have, you know, shown an interest in it, so I kept doing it. And uh, now I've got some books out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. Um, have you had much interaction with libraries who've gotten your books? Um, every once in a while, I'll uh, hear from someone who says they've had my book and kids like to read it a lot. But uh, this is my first time at ALA and really, like, talking to those people directly and uh, really pushing it in that market. It's, it's been interesting so far. <laughs> oh, okay, great. Hopefully a lot more libraries will be getting your book in and yeah. sharing it with the kids. I realize that's kind of more of the audience for the kind of material I'm doing than like the comic book store. Mm. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, and you, okay, you've got Mighty Skullboy Army and you're also, you've been working on like Voltron, I think, for Viz? For Viz, yeah. Yeah. So let's up. go ahead and hold up your books. <laughs> yeah. I've been uh, drawing Ultron Force for Viz, it's, uh, based on the new Nickelodeon cartoon. Mm -hmm. um, I'm drawing the first volume, Shelter of the Storm, and I'm working on the sixth volume right now. I think it's called True Colors. Uh, both are written by Brian Smith, who was a friend of mine from one of my time at Marvel. And uh, I've always been a big Ultron fan, so we kicked to work on this. Okay, great. Um, is there another comic by somebody else that you would recommend uh, for like the same audience as Mighty Skullboy? For the same audience as Mighty Skullboy, mm -hmm. my immediate reaction is to say uh, Chris Jeeves with G-Man. Oh yeah. Because uh, we've uh, both characters have interacted in crossovers from time to time, and uh, it's a it's a great book. Um, one that I often I'm jealous of and try to <laughs> 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 try to at least compete with. <laughs> Okay. I'm sure you must have been approached um, as you go to Comic Cons and things by people who say, you know, I think I would like to start creating comics. What one piece of advice would you give to someone like that? Um, the easiest piece of advice is to just keep doing it and uh, do it for your, your enjoyment more than anything else. And then hopefully other people will catch on to your enthusiasm um, and that, that'll build up to having a reading audience, and then you'll have something. Okay, and um, I'm going to ask you the, the toughie question. All right. <laughs> um, now that you've been here and have been interacting with library librarians, and hopefully you've been thinking a little bit about it, what do you think libraries could do to promote comics that they either haven't done or haven't really done too much with? This is a tough question because I'm not that aware of what they are doing. I think uh, the biggest thing is just having them in the libraries. Uh, I think if they're in the libraries, then the kids will find out about them. I mean, I guess that's the hardest part is getting the kids to know mm -hmm. that they're in the libraries. But once they do, uh, from my experience, is they go nuts over it. And, They'll be either like sit there in the library and read them all, or take them out all the time. Um, I've seen a lot of well-worn copies of like um, like a lot of manga series at my local libraries mm -hmm. in New York and stuff like that. Um, I guess uh, biggest thing would just be to, to to learn about what's out there 
Um, I, from talking to librarians here, a lot of people don't, I don't understand that scene kind of, so mm. they don't know uh, the content and like the vast breadth of material that's out there. Uh, a lot of people like plan to get like expect to get like some X-Men comics or something, and they're super violent and whatever, and not need to get complaints from parents that they're not appropriate for kids. But uh, you know, there's a lot of material that is appropriate mm -hmm. for kids in a lot of different genres than just the most popular comics. Okay. Now I want you to hold up the Mighty Skullboy because I love that. So. Yeah, this is the, the yeah. latest one that came out mm -hmm. earlier this year.